guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you what a week looks like using Sunlight's Science K program. I have been using the Sunlight Science K program since like January, February of 2024. And so we've used a lot of it. I've made a lot of videos on it already. And so I feel like at this point, like those of you that have been following and you're still kind of interested, let's see what like, an actual week of school looks like. I want to say thank you to Sunlight for sponsoring today's video and partnering with me. I have worked with Sunlight numerous times. So thanks so much Sunlight for always being willing to partner with me. If you have no idea about the Sunlight science k program i'm going to want you to look at this video i'm going to link this is my overview video should i show you everything that you get if you were to package it how it's set up the methodology all of that kind of stuff so start with that video um, i also just filmed a day in the life with my kindergartner where i'm showing you like what one day of school looks like like with my kindergartner um, but that is kind of hard to like see like what does it really look like overall so this video is more in depth. I'm going to show you an, an entire week, all the books, all the activities, all the experiments that you would complete and how it's all set up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Side note, I did also write a blog post. So if you kind of want to see it more broken down visually, then I will link that down below and everything from sunlight. It will also be linked down below. So I'm going to flip the camera around, show you everything that we're going to be working with for this week of lessons. I will give a small caveat. I'm to show you day by day broken down it's normally scheduled in a four day a week schedule there is an option when you purchase it to go up to five days a week but i purchased the four day a week and then i combine days one and two together and days three and four together but i'll show you how i do that um, and that's just the great flexibility of the sunlight program is that i can do that with the science lesson at this age level and it works great so we only are actually doing science twice a week let's jump in and see how everything is set up so each week I start with pulling out everything for science. So I have my instructor's guide in my binder, which has all the week instruction gu instructor guides, all the activity pages. I like it this way. I have each week divided by a tab. So it's easy for me to just flip to the newest tab. I do need to clean this out though. I'm pretty heavy into it. And so I need to take out all the weeks that we've already completed. I have the literature that goes along with this week's lesson. There's only one book that is needed. There will be a science experiment as well as activity sheet questions. I organized my child's activity sheets by the weeks as well. So this is the activity sheet we're going to be completing this week. That just kept it easier for me. I don't think it comes like that. I think you have to do it yourself. So I think I set aside like an hour when we first got the curriculum to just get all the activity pages in line with the weeks and the instructor's guide. You get answer keys for everything and then you get your daily kind of notes as well. I'm gonna make sure I have everything for the experiment. So we need to make sure we prepped for the experiment. There is a note um, and then which experiment number we're doing and which track number for the videos. I have my discover and do science supply kit box. This has tons of stuff in it. Most of the time I pull everything from here unless it's like common household items. Like today's experiment only needed a bowl and some water, I believe. So it was pretty easy. And then this is your hard copy of your science experiments and so that is full of color information for the experiment it walks you through step by step with pictures the experiment you're going to do it asks really good like discussion type questions it gives you kind of like some rabbit trails if you want to move forward and so if you're super hands-on and you want to walk through these experiments with your child this book is absolutely amazing it goes through the materials you need any notes, this experiment uh, requires a few hours of waiting. So that's noted in the instructor's guide and here. Um, it's about three to four pages long. Again, I love the step-by-step -step images. This really helps me to make sure we're doing the right thing. The extra questions, the extra knowledge, it's almost like its own unit as well. So your child is still learning if you're reading through that with them as well. I also love that it gives you notes for next week. So it prepares you like, hey, you might need to buy some stuff for next week. This is a food-based project for next week. So I like that because it puts me in my mind what I'm shopping for next week to do everything. 
Each day is also broken down with some notes if anything is important or to help you throughout the lesson. In this kindergarten level, it's never too much that I notice um, day to day. It's pretty simple. For this week, there is an extra activity on day one, Attracted by Smell. This is actually a really cute activity uh, that you're going to do with your child, having them smell some different things around the house. Now let's jump into day one. So day one, we're reading pages 18 and 19 in our book. We've, all, we've already been working throughout this book in previous weeks. I think this is actually our last week on Rainforest. So this reader is an us born reader, um, not super long at all. So just these two pages technically is what you would read on day one. Now the activity pages that go along with it go directly off of these pages in the book. So what I have found to be very helpful is I keep the book open on those pages while we're completing the activity. And that seems to help me and my child a lot. Um, most of the time there's like tracing, sometimes there's cutting and pasting. My five-year-old can't read or write full sentences, so I normally help him along writing the answers in, obviously reading and things like that. Now, this is where I combine stuff. So I actually do day one and day two together. So day two is very similar. We're going to read another two pages in our Rainforest book. So we're reading pages 20 and 21, and then we're actually only completing one activity question. So these are the pages that we would read today. But again, we combine days one and two. As you can see, it's completely doable because it's only two pages of reading and it would only be four questions of activities. And so this one is an easy, you draw the line to match the animals. Moving on to day three, very similar to the first two days, we are reading and then completing the rest of the activity questions. So we're going to read these two pages. I also believe this is the end of our rainforest book. We're going to finish up those activity questions and that would be the end of reading. So you only do reading um, three days out of the week. So this is how we would start our technically second day of lessons since we combine them. So we would finish up the book finish up our activities, and then we would move into day four, which is experiment day. So day four is always, um, has only the experiment that you do, which is really good because if you really school four days a week of science, you have the dedicated time to do it. I'm just pointing out that this experiment does say you need to like prepare early ahead. You can't just open and go with this experiment. So I love how many times they call that out so you don't forget because I would definitely forget that. So now for day four in the experiment, you can use just this experiment book if you want. If you wanna open it up, get your supplies, follow it along, you can totally do that. Or you can do what I do and you have the video option. So when you log into your Sunlight account, you have the discover and do videos. There's a video for each week, each experiment. And so this is what I tend to do. Even if we are actually going to complete the experiment, we still watch the video. I find that it helps me and my child do the experiment better. So this teacher walks through every single step that is also in your book. So you can follow along, um, do the experiment at the same time. Or those weeks where it's super busy, maybe you don't have the time or the space to actually complete the experiment. You can just watch this so your child will actually still see the experiment happening happening but you don't actually need to complete it so i really like the two different options of having the experiment book or the videos for you to complete those experiments these videos really have changed the way that i've done science because i always struggle as a busy mom with multiple kids to get the experiments done but at least having these videos i feel like my child can still experience it even if we can't get through it all. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a week of lessons would look like with sunlight, whether you do them exactly as scheduled days one through four, or if you do kind of a combination like I do. I really like this curriculum. I like all the resources and literature. And as much as it seems like a lot of stuff, for me, it is truly open and go. Like I don't have to plan ahead or think about it. It's really easy. I can adapt it as I need and all those things. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions about the Sunlight Science K program, leave those down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Bye guys.